Good morning. We are going to be searching this creek for more VMS, more sphalerite, galena, pyrite, calcopyrite. Uh, we're going to walk this way. We got about 300, 400 meters to search of the creek. Right now, I'm not seeing too much of anything. Past that, we got a VMS showing which we're actually going to expose a bit more today and try and find some better samples so let's get to our guys so there's a definite contrast between this rock here and here and you can see how this rock is a lot darker we're finding signs of mineralization there was a pyrite stringer in here with disseminated pyrite so i think we're on to the zone which means we're about eight or 900 meters from the, the spot where we finished off last time. So we got an eight or 900 meter zone where you can find mineralization. So yeah, definite mineralization you can see. Disseminated pyrite. And it looks like there's some uh, svalerite in there as well. This is probably about I'd say 5% pyrotized, maybe 1% sphalerite. Just in the host rock. All the way over there, all the way over here, we got an extreme amount of oxidized soils leaching out. Some of this might be rock. There's lots of oxidized rocks here. There's definitely something going on farther up where it's causing it to leach down here. We're going to hack away at this for a little bit. Maybe we can find a couple samples that have made its way down here. It's over here as well. So basically we're looking at a 20 meter wide area where the stuff's just leaching out of the bank. Didn't see too much when I uh, hammered it into the soils but over there you can see there's clay on the bottom layer and then there's a really rusty kind of broken up sandy material. So whatever's there is farther in for sure. So if you guys want to take a look at this. Up on the road we found uh, a nice deposit. We're about 100 meters down that way is where that oxidized soils are and the other day we were actually here we started just past this point and now we're at this point and we're taking chip samples of the bedrock and the bedrock is very mineralized you can see you have calcopyrite there pyrite there a little bit of sphalerite some chip samples from here you almost have uh, semi-massive sphalerite right there with pyrite. So I would say we're on some sort of stringer zone uh, which has decent mineralization. Look at the pyrite and your block there is the sphalerite. Right. So we're going to spend a little time here. We found lots of samples over about a uh, 20 meter wide area. Again, more sphalerite and pyrite. Hammering away at a bit of a showing here. So you got a uh, nice amount of disseminated pyrite. And there's a bit of sphalerite in there. And it's following this here. You can see the micro quartz meaning. We're going to hammer this a bit more. See what this opens up to. 
this entire kind of big outcrop here has a decent amount of prioritization. So we decided to go up to Side Creek. Take a look at this. This is all concreted in here. Nice flat foundation. This is all concrete going all down here. And look at that. That is a trestle for an old rail grade. Probably at least a hundred years old. 50 meters up the uh, creek past that railway trestle. We found a nice four meter wide oxidized area here. We're gonna hammer away at it for a little bit. Don't see any mineralization just by looking, but well, maybe there is. Yep, there is. So, it looks like stringers of uh, pyrite and sphalerite. With disseminations of pyrite. The uh, rock almost looks like it's a little porphyritic. Have to hammer it open a bit more and see. That's it, we're back out of the uh, river. So, hope you guys enjoyed the short video, even though it took six hours to make. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time.